Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that remote. This show is about your health. There's nothing more important than your health. So uh, call your aunt, your mama, your papa, your gumbadis and your gumbadis. Get them over here to, and watch this. We got people here that are interested in your health. They're going to have information. And we're talking about check it out, okay? The old story. When in doubt, check it out. And that's what this is all about. We're going to be testing. We're going to be checking. It's not going to cost you money. It's just going to cost you a little time. In the old story, I got more. T I spend my time. I got more time than money, so I spend my time. But this is very important. And my guests today are, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. You know how I am with, with names. You know, I, I, my, well, my name is Cicio, C-I-A-C-C-I-O. Everybody calls me Cisco because nobody can pronounce the other one. So in this corner, like they say in Madison Square Garden, uh, Reverend, tell us who you are, where you're from. I and am. You're, you're a reverend, right? Yes, I'm Reverend John West from the Siloam Baptist Church. You're the third. Church, the third. Right. John H. West III from Siloam Baptist Church right here in the heart of Norristown. Willow Street. Willow right. Street, yes. I remember years ago, uh, Reverend Nallen, you know, That's and I was right. a policeman in Norristown. Yes. Yes, and uh, Nallen, Officer Nallen, you know. So now that's your title, and you're going to be involved. Now tell me who you are and what you do. I'm Regina Parks. I'm a registered nurse, and I am co-chair of the Health and Wellness Ministry at Christian Community Baptist Church at 849 Thomas Street in Norristown, PA. Good. Now, you're both together here, and you yes. have uh, sponsors. You're coordinating with how many hospitals? Uh, five different hospital groups are okay. part of that. Okay. Now, start, tell me what this is about. It's going to be May the 4th from 10 in the morning till 3 at the Carver Center. Am I yes. right? Yes. Okay. Hit it. Tell us what's going to happen there. Well, what's going to happen there is going to be an exciting day. It begins at 10 a.m. and goes until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If a person chooses to come, they will encounter all kinds of information about health from head to toe for children, middle-aged people to uh, seniors. That's why we call it Seasons of Life Health Fair because it will cover people in all of the seasons of their lives. There will be a special speaker at 145, uh, uh, Miss Ernestine Shepherd. You'll hear more about her later on, hopefully, in our conversation. All uh right. -huh. And uh, you will also there will also be a panel discussion that will be made up of various health experts in the area. And also, that's something else. I hope you'll hear more. And it's about. all for the health bit. Right? All for the right, health. Right. Why are you doing this? You're a nurse. Why are you doing this? Um, I'm doing this because I have a real passion for health and I have a passion also for helping people. So this is a way to educate people, to allow them to take control of their health and to do things that will encourage them to, uh, to see different things that they can do to better their health. Well, in other words, but why did you go to the churches to get them involved? Well, we feel that the Christian church has a responsibility <clears throat> to the community. That makes uh, sense. Right. Makes sense. A spiritual <laughs> and moral responsibility to the community. I'm going to hit you a question like that. You, I'm, you come up with a good answer. <laughs> and especially the way, I mean, our, our community <clears throat> in general, our country, is really being plagued, you know, with a lot of health disparities. Right. And a lot of the things uh, are preventable. If you just know what right. to do, how to treat them, how to better take care of yourself. So right. we want to be able to get this information out to people. Right. Okay. Moreover, we believe as part of our faith that God is interested in our physical well-being as well as our spiritual well-being. Right. So this is part of our mission is God's right. house of hope, healing, and wholeness to provide this kind of information and access yeah. to the general community. In other words, don't... Don't start praying when you get sick. That's right. Well, that's pray right. before you get sick that's so you right. don't get sick. And then once <laughs> well, you I got get it? and then once you get sick, go yeah, to the doctor. Yeah. That one guy, they tell me there's a story about a guy who was a soldier and he says, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in God. So I don't know what happened, but they were ready, he got shot, boom. 
And the first thing he says, oh, my God. God <laughs> came to him when that bullet was in him. Right. You know? So don't wait until, uh, you know, it's it, 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 spiritually, religious, get yourself together, okay? And it, it's helpful. It's helpful. You know, I, I can be, I, I should say that uh, prime example, I guess, the good Lord took care of me. I've had prostate cancer, colon cancer. I have two hip replacements. I have wow. two ear aids, and I got cataract over there. Uh, I got a pacemaker. So he got me bobbing and weaving here. So I'm right. still here. I'm 89. And you're still and, going you know, strong. I, I, can't, I can't say this guy helped me or that guy helped me. Somebody up there helped me. Now, if you want to believe it, okay. If you don't, I don't forget about it. But, you know? but so by the that's grace. why I'm saying go there. Check. And the yes. first time that I, my wife took me to the hospital. I was a policeman in Norristown. I rode a motorcycle. I boxed in the ring. I was a referee. I, I, everything, you know. And every, every test I ever took, I was always good. You know, everything was all right. Then when I went to the Montgomery Hospital, they checked. And they had told my wife to tell me that it was cancer in the colon, you know. So I didn't, I didn't get a death warrant or death penalty or anything. I just said, okay. Come on, let's go. That's right. What are we going to do? And, uh, <laughs> you know, next four or five years later, I get uh, prostate cancer. Yeah. Oh, what? I'll take whatever, whatever he gives me. So it's important that I'm glad that you're having this here with the churches involved, okay? So it's helping you. Yeah. It's helping people yeah. to get the feel yeah. uh, when they go there. They're having more of a feeling than just going into a receiving ward and, and taking blood or something. But now tell me now. These tests, what, what all are they going to be testing for? Well, um, uh, Ms. Regina, Sister Regina, can right. talk about that. Uh, right. Some of the tests, some of the screenings that they're going to be doing is a balance meter. They're going to uh, test blood pressure. They're going to test for carbon monoxide, uh, breast health. What do you mean by, uh, what's that? Prox what is it? Carbon monoxide. Yeah. Well, you know, they talk about how some people in their homes have carbon monoxide leaking and they're not aware of it. Well, they, they, they have a breathing test and they can kind of actually kind of figure out if you have carbon monoxide in your lungs. Yeah, you know, I, I just saw on the TV yesterday a man, family of four. Yes, I up saw in, that. Uh, Bucks County yes. or someplace, Doylestown or someplace. Right. Four people, all the car was running. They have, a, they have their garage under the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, my God, mm -hmm. you know. So that's, that's so important, you know, and until you read about it. But here you've got an opportunity to check and see maybe there's a problem in your home. You right, know? right. And they're, they're going to have, I think Mercy Suburban is sending people from their respiratory department. So they're going to be checking well, who's different Who's going to do things. that? Mercy Suburban Hospital. Okay. They're All going right. to send people from their respiratory department. Now, what other hospital, department. Al? You've got what other hospitals doing? We have um, Abington Memorial Hospital. Good hospital. All yes. Right. And, of course, Mercy Suburban Hospital. Fox Chase Cancer Center, which is under Temple. Penguin, top. Right. And then we have, of course, the newly opened um, Einstein, Einstein uh, Medical Montgomery. Yeah. They are right. the main hospitals that are going to be coming there. And they're all coming to the Carver Center on the corner of Arch and Jacoby Street. Correct. Right. Right. And from 10 to 3. From 10 to 3. So get there early, okay, and get these tests. Tell me some more about it. Now, this well, whole health... You know, you got, well, why, why'd you get this? How'd you get involved in this? Well, I tell you, about two years ago, our church uh, uh, thought of doing a health fair. We've done them before on Willow Street where we're located, but we thought this year we would try to expand the effort. And so we started thinking about a theme and we came up with the idea of seasons of health, again, to uh, talk about the different seasons in a person's life and how health was vital and important at each of those stages. Over time, we got a number of other churches involved, uh, Christian Community Baptist Church, Macedonia Baptist Church. Uh, uh, Macedonia's on Green Street? Used to be on Green yeah, Street. Now, they're on, on East Norton. Now it's in East Norton. And yes. uh, my buddy, the... the, the, the Pastor Craig. Pastor Craig. Yeah, I had yes. him on the show here. Good yes. guy. Uh, Living Waters Pentecostal Church and uh, Chatting Chicks Foundation have all come together with us to uh, support this effort. And it's a beautiful experience seeing uh, people, black, white, Hispanic, coming together for the common effort of seeing improved health in the greater Norristown area. 
Well, now you mentioned Hispanic. Now, do you have a Hispanic uh, organization on Marshall Street? With, uh, yes, and, uh, Aclamo, Aclamo. They're going to be uh, uh, involved in this. They are one of the sponsors, along with uh, Living Waters Pentecostal Church, pastored by Luis Mendez. They also are active participants in this program. Now, when I, we're saying we want people to go there. We're not saying that you're going to go to say prayers. OK, no. this is nothing to say, well, I don't want to go there. I'm, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a Protestant. I'm a Catholic. Well, this is open for everybody. You Absolutely. Know. It's, a, it's for your health. Absolutely. But just the idea that a lot of churches got involved because they figured that, you know, physically and mentally and that the whole the whole thing works. You know, you can you can uh, dig yourself a grave, not feeling good, you know, and not not give yourself some spirit, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, you go to a priest, a rabbi, minister or so, and they can help you. You know? Right. And that, that's a good point. It's <clears throat> not just addressing physical health. We're addressing mental health, emotional health, spiritual health. So we will also have uh, people there. Like you said, since it is a multi-church health fair, we're also going to have a prayer corner. So if anybody wants to come in and have prayer, we're going to have a prayer corner there. Uh, at a certain time or a certain place or what? The whole, uh, during the whole event. But we'll that, have people during the entire event. Oh, okay. We'll have a prayer okay. corner yeah. set off to the side. Yeah. And I just didn't want to forget, we named the hospitals, but also Norristown Regional Health Center, which is on um, uh, for Nance and, and DeKalb. Yes, they yeah, also yeah, are participants, yeah, yeah. yes. They'll well, be make sure we don't miss anybody. Right. You yeah. want to run them off again? Go ahead. I'll run them off again. Uh, Gateway Health Plan, they're a part of it. Einstein Medical Montgomery, Abington Health, Mercy Suburban Hospital, which is a part of Mercy Health System, Fox Chase Cancer Center, which is under Temple, That's and top. Norristown Regional Health Center. Good, okay. So we got it covered, you know, we covered like the dew. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the morning you get the dew on the grass, you know, That's, so we got it covered. Now, come on, tell me more. Well, at 145, we have our special guest who is Ernestine Shepherd. She's a national- 145. 1.45 in the afternoon. Right. Uh, she will be speaking about her own personal experience. Uh, Miss Shepard is a 76-year-old woman with the body and health of a teenager. Wow. In fact, she is listed uh, in uh, a Guinness World Book of Records as the oldest bodybuilder uh, in America, oh female bodybuilder in America. Um, she is a health guru, a health expert, and uh, she will be sharing what has worked for her as an inspiration for all of us, no matter what our age may be. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's great when you get somebody an example like that, you know, her age, and right. she's a bodybuilder, and he's still out to help people, you know. I was just wondering <clears throat> why we don't have a, a theme song to make people feel good, a song that makes people feel good, you know. Uh, I think somebody ought to work on that. Uh, but I, the only one I can think of is uh, Oklahoma, you know. Ah. And maybe in the morning you wake up and you feel good. Thank God that you woke up. Thank God you That's feel right. good. And then, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm so happy that I feel good and I check myself out. When in doubt, check it out. That's right. Why don't we get a theme song with a uh, little, little with music? Uh, check your prostate, check your colon. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you, with the advance, with the hospitals we have around here, thank God we are in a good area, okay? Northtown is the county seat. We are moving forward with theaters. We got churches, we got restaurants, we got everything in transportation. So really, Norristown's a place to be. This is a good area, being the county seat. 